So the other day we were at the range and we shot three ballistics gels with lead and non-lead ammunition. Now we're on the step two. We could see those fragments in the gel with our naked eye, but now we're gonna x-ray them and really get a view on what's in there, what the size of those fragments are, what the spread is, and really what happens when we're shooting our animals with ammunition. We're starting with that ballistics gel that we shot with lead ammo. And so clearly you can see the fragmentation, how it's spread out across the wound channel. So these are those tiny little fragments all throughout here that are gonna be left in the gut pile. And it's even that microscopic little dust that we can't see that the bald eagles and golden eagles are ingesting all throughout our gut pile, causing them some significant issues. So let's take a look at lead-free ammo and see how that looks under the x-ray. So here we've got our two ballistics gels side by side. This one was lead-based ammunition and this one was lead-free ammunition. And here you can see the vast fragmentation and all those little frag lead fragments throughout this ballistics gelatin while we had nothing in our lead-free gel. So that's what we're going for, a nice clean kill both for ourselves, our ecosystems, and our wildlife. As much as every single hunter wants to have a clean shot that only hits tissue, the realization is many of us hit bones, including that front shoulder. So what this is showing us here is what happens when your bullet goes through that shoulder blade and into the soft tissue. And you can see that wider spread of the, bullet, of the lead fragments that are within this. And that is increasing the risk that it's gonna end up in your meat and you know, end up spread out through the gut pile. This is the x-ray we looked at where we did not go through a bone so that the shot was straight through the ballistics gel, which again, mimics soft tissue. This one, the same shot, same caliber, same um, manufacturer bullet, but shot through a mule deer scapula. And you can see just this vast fragmentation that happens when you hit a bone. So as you go through hide, as you go through bone, it increases that fragmentation rate and also the distance at which those fragments um, travel beyond that wound channel. And this, this is when it's risky for your game meat. When you're cutting up your shoulder, your roast, um, and getting some of that burger, this may not be bloodshot, so it may end up in your burger. So for many hunters, one of the most important things about our successful hunt is bringing home that meat, making sure that meat's clean. So these are some packages I got from my neighbor that didn't know it was an issue, and now We've x-rayed all his meat and identified the ones that have lead fragments. And oftentimes it's not like when you're upland game hunting and you can feel that steel shot when you're eating your burger. You know, when these fragments are so small, it's taking us multiple times. We gotta pinpoint exactly where this little fragment is, cut it open, dissect it out, and find that little fragment. You, your family, your kids, your grandkids, you'll never feel that as you eat it in your burger. And so that's why it's really important to just make sure it's not there in the first place. There it is. You may be saying to yourself, what the heck is the big deal? That thing, you could barely see it. It took a while to find it. Uh, you wouldn't notice it, you wouldn't taste it. It's not like you bite down on the shot and you feel it on your teeth and break your teeth. But it is a big deal for the eagles. If an eagle eats a handful of those, which as we saw on the ballistics gels, very well could in one bite in a concentrated area in that gut pile could pick up a half dozen or even two dozen of those little fragments and that's enough to kill it. An eagle can take a big chunk, no problem for an eagle to eat a piece of meat this big. Now imagine if this piece of meat was right down here and now it just ate 20 or 30 fragments of lead. That's enough to kill it. So that's what we're talking about. It really do you want that in your burger if you have a choice? 
I think most of us, the answer is no. We want our meat to be clean, which is why we're out there hunting, which is why we're having sustainable food for our families in a way that connects us to the environment. We want to leave no trace. We want to leave no impact on our wildlife. And the way to do that is moving over to non-lead ammo. So join us in that pursuit. Make sure you don't have those little lead fragments in your meat and really make sure they don't end up in your gut pile when you walk away from it.